So I got three packages today. This is the first one. Um, I was expecting three things in the mail, and all of them just so happened to come on the exact same day. So I figured, hey, let's do an unboxing of them, uh, and because it's an interesting variety of stuff. Uh, so this one, this is a funny story. So I was thinking, oh, is this the thing I ordered from the UK? Yeah, it is, because it has the Queen all over it. Uh, <laughs> this, is, this is not a figure, actually. Um, this is a CD. Uh, I don't know if you knew, but I like music, and one of my favorite bands is Bad Veins. Bad Veins is a local Cincinnati band, and uh, I had to order the CD all the way from the UK. Uh, <laughs> I really love this album. Um, yeah, it's just, it's just a really nice group. If you like if you like nice music, I recommend uh, listening to Bad Veins. Uh, don't Run is amazing. Nursery Rhyme is great. I don't know if I've heard If Then. Chasing I like. My favorite is Dancing on TV. That is my favorite song for them, period. I, I, I just love it. Anyways, I know most of you aren't here for the music, so let's just skip over that real quick. Let's talk about the other little package. This one. This comes all the way from Hong Kong. Uh, let's see. I already know what it is. But let's see if it's garbage or not. Because naturally, if you order something from Hong Kong, it's not going to be the best quality item. Uh, and this, uh, hopefully, is an absolute garbage. Because it is a knockoff. Okay. Alrighty. So, if you don't know me, I am totally obsessed with Iron Man. Just period. I love Iron Man. He's my boy. And Lego never went, came around to making their own... He better have his... Okay, I was thinking he better have his arms in there. Lego never made their own Mark II minifig. So I figured, hey, let's just order the knockoff that's been on eBay. You can't even see it. Oh, my God. Adam, get good or Gil, Gil go home. Can't even talk anymore. Okay. So let's look at this. Let's look at the quality. So the print is very bland and basic. A very, very basic print. Let's get the arm on there. At least the arm snapped on fine. Let's get the hand. Oh my god, it's not even in focus. Are you trying to sabotage my life? Does the hand not want to go in? Oh, there we go. Please stay in focus for me, little Iron Man. I need you to do this. Um, R.I.P. Lepin, by the way. Uh, <laughs> if you don't know Lepin, very, very uh, notorious knockoff Lego company. Here, let's... The print on the head is actually really decent given how it's a knockoff. That's not a bad print on the helmet. Let's look at the print on the mask, because I think that's very important. Uh, come on, get on there, buddy. Ooh, ugh, ugh. Yeah, I might touch it up with a silver Sharpie or whatever, but yeah, it's a little Lego Mark II. Well, it's not really Lego, but Lego never made one, and I wanted one for my Hall of Armor that they just made for Avengers Endgame. So yeah, there's there's that. It's pretty uh, pretty neat. It was only, it was seriously only a couple bucks, so I'm not complaining. Then it comes with effect parts, but I'm not going to use those. And since they're fake Lego, I don't want to put them with my actual pieces, so they might just end up in the garbage. Okay, so with those little packages out of the way, let us discuss the big box. I ordered this from Hobby Link Japan some time ago, uh, quite some time ago. And if you know me, you probably know what's inside. I'm trying to see how to even open this. Ooh, it's just so massive. Okay, so I got my handy dandy box. The cats are running around. I got my handy dandy box cutter. Let's see what's inside. Because it, it's going to be cool stuff. Ooh, okay. So it's... For a second, I'm like, it's a box inside a box. No, it's just the, the bottom of the Gundam kit. Yeah, it's Gundams, guys. Again. I actually know it's the bottom cardboard. Okay, so the first one we got... Ooh, I've been waiting for this. Darth Deuces built this, and I knew I needed to build it as well. Uh, it's the Gear Zulu Guards type. Uh, <laughs> I just love the Gear Zulu. I already have Angelo's Gear Zulu and the normal one, but I just wanted the Guards type because I love the Gear Zulu and I wanted another one. And thankfully, there's another variation to get, so I got the Guards type. I have three other gunpla kits in here. Uh, that's probably why it took a while to come, because there's quite a few kits. Next up, oh, it took me so long to get this. Black Tri-Star, Zaku 2, Ortega. It's Ortega's version with the giant axe. Oh my god. 
Look at that axe. Oh my god. I've been waiting to get this for so long because I love the Origin Zaku figure. I just haven't... I just haven't gotten around to getting the Black Tristar one because I don't want the Gaia and Mash version. I wanted the Ortega version with the giant axe. And I finally have it. So I'm very happy about that. Two more kits, guys. Two more kits. And if you're a fan of Gundam Wing, you will enjoy these next two kits. This one I've been waiting to get for a hot minute. Come on. Uh, it's opening up inside. That's not good. Ugh. Oh, oh, okay. Ooh, ooh, I don't have enough space. So <laughs> it started opening up, and I saw the little SD Wing Zero, and I started getting panicked. Then I remembered, oh yeah, that's just what they do. Real grade Wing Zero custom. My absolute favorite Gundam. Uh, I finally have the 1144 version of it. Uh, I can't wait to build this thing. Uh, I hear it's a pretty good RG. Uh, there's some RGs that are a little iffy, but I hear this one's pretty great. So I can't wait to get into him. This will be my... How, oh, how many RGs do I have? Like, let's be my fifth or sixth RG? I don't remember, but I'll have me some RGs. And I can't wait to get into him. Okay, one more kit. And if you're in tune with the new stuff coming out, and if you're in tune with what is in Gundam Wing, you should know the last kit is... Thank you for shopping with Hobby Link Japan. Uh, come on! Why must you do this to me? Oh, oh, I'm trying to use my... Where's my knife? My desk is just cluttered with packing material and toys. There we go. No, it's not that. It's the Maganac! Oh my god. I have been wanting a kit of the Maganac for so long. Uh, my brother had the uh, MSIA Maganac. Uh, the Rashid custom, he had the Rashid custom, the commander one with the fin and the giant axe. Uh, this is just the normal Maganac, but I'm perfectly fine with that. Um, look at all those. There's a Rashid custom right there. You can see with the fin and everything. Um, yeah, I've just wanted a Maganac ever since I was a kid. And hey, there's an HG of it now, so that's amazing. Anyways, let's get this giant box out of the way. And let's show off everything I got. Alrighty, so that's my unboxing. We got a CD of a band I like. We got a little knockoff Iron Man that's not the greatest thing ever, but it only costs me like a dollar, so I'm not too worried about it. And I got four Gunpla kits. I'm so excited to start building these. Definitely going to build the Maganac first. I might review it. I don't know. Don't hold me to it. If you want to see a review of the Maganac, let me know. Anyways, guys, there you go. Hope you enjoyed a little unboxing. Uh, no clone troopers. I'm sorry. No clone troopers today. Uh, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Check out my social media links down in the description below. As well as my P.O. Box address if you want to send me some meme-rific goodness. Have a good day, guys, and as always, may the force be with you. Bye.